Sixth grade, module four, lesson one, classwork. Opening exercise, draw a tape diagram to represent the following ex expression, five plus four. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram. And I'm gonna start with just five. So there's five, and then we wanna add four so I'm just going to tack on to the end of that another 4. So this part is 5, and we want to add 4. So there's my type diagram representing 5 plus 4. B, write an expression for each tape diagram. So it looks like we have 1, 2, and then we added on another two. So two plus two would be the expression. And since they're asking for expressions, they don't have an equal sign. If they wanted an equation, then we would put equals four, but it's just an expression. And then the last one looks like one, two, three. And then we're adding on another one, two, three, four. So three plus four. Exercises. Predict what will happen when a tape diagram has a large number of squares, some squares are removed, and then the same amount of squares are added back on. So for example, maybe they had like 15 squares, a large number of squares, some are removed, so maybe we subtracted 2, and then the same amount are added back on. So then they added the same amount back on. What's going to happen? So if I do 15 minus 2, I get 13. But then if I add 2, I end back up with 15. So it looks like when you remove some and add the same back on, you end up with the same amount of squares that we started with. So let's say when some are removed, and then the same amount are added back on, you end up with the same amount of squares that you started with. Number two, build a tape diagram with 10 squares. Okay, so we'll do it in pink over here. So there's my tape diagram with 10 squares. It says remove six squares. So I'll take out one, two, three, four, five, six, and then write an expression to represent the tape diagram. So what we did is we had 10 and we removed six, so minus six. We end up with four left, but it's just an expression. We don't need to write equals four. Add six squares back onto the tape diagram after the original expression to represent the current tape diagram. So now if we wanted to add six back on, How many are we ending up with? So we're back to having 10. So we did 10, and then we subtracted six, and then we added six more. So that represents the tape diagram that we have, that we did right there. Evaluate the expression. So 10 minus six plus six was equal to 10. So we just ended up right where we started. Number three. Using an, write, an, write an equation using variables to represent the identities we demonstrated with tape diagrams. So I'm just going to take um, 
the last expression that we did and replace everything with a different variable. So for example, I'm gonna make 10 equal to A and six equal to B. And those are the only two numbers we have. So now I'm just gonna take this equation and replace it with the letters. So 10 is A, so A minus six was B, B plus the other the six is also B is equal to 10 was A. So 10 minus A, or 10 minus B plus B is equal to A. So that's what this whole module is going to kind of be about, is learning about variables and how we can use variables and expressions and equations to solve, to solve different problems. So using your knowledge of identities, fill in each of the blanks. So 4 plus 5 minus what equals 4? So we're wanting to get back to 4, and we started with 4. So if we add 5, if we want to get back to 4, we're going to have to subtract 5. 25 minus what plus 10 is equal to 25. So we start with 25. We want to keep 25. So if we add 10, then we're also going to need to subtract 10. Something plus 16 minus 16. So these are going to cancel each other out, and we end up with 45, which means that we start with 45. And then 56 minus 20 plus 20, those cancel each other out. So we're just going to get 56. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but with variables. So a plus b minus what gets a? We need b minus b to cancel each other out. That's actually my first, the first example that we did up there. c minus d plus d is equal to, so remember those cancel each other out, so we're left with c. e plus what minus what is something minus f is equal to e. So we wanna end up with e we start with E, so we need F minus F to cancel each other out. And then D blank minus H plus H is equal to G. So these will cancel each other out. We need G, so we have to start with G. And that's the end of lesson one.